think they set their first lap leader Mercedes seems to be the one in the pit lane currently. And I'm back for commentary as we see the Ferrari. Everyone's starting in fastest lap times. The 144.8 is the fast timing in this qualifying session by Crafty. And the McLaren and quickly gets denied by Spa with a Caution's out in sector one, two. We're going to be spectating the current fastest person out on track, Captain in the Alfa Romeo. Oh, he quickly gets the Aston Martin, sets a new fastest lap time of a 141.489. The Red Bull goes wide out of. I forget what turn that is. Oh, sector one, caution! I don't think it might have been a spin. I don't know though. Can the Alfa Romeo take the Aston Martin off pole position as he's going through the final chicane here? As he's coming to the line, activates DRS. Can he take him off pole? No, he can't. As he's heading towards El Rouge for another lap. Oh, caution, sector two. Currently we are, Fastest is currently heading into the pits. I'm going to go back to viewing the Alfa Romeo's lap times. Everyone seems to be coming into the pits on this lap currently. Is he going to take that Aston Martin off pole? 
he does go fastest with a 143.981. That's a pretty good lap to take pole position. But let's see, is anyone going to beat that lap as there's nine minutes left in qualifying before we start the Grand Prix? Oh, there is a caution in Sector 1. I think it was involving the Alfa Romeo. I'm not sure, though. As the Alfa Tori goes around the Alfa Romeo. Oh, another one in Sector 3 involving a Red Bull, as I can tell from here as a Mercedes is starting to head towards that yellow flag. Let's hope that the yellow flag goes away. The Alfa Romeo goes past the Alfa Tori, but he's still cruising because of his caution up on the straightaway. As we're seeing a little bit of racing action with the Alfa Romeo and the Alfa Tauri kind of having a little bit of a battle here. Seeing who can put in the fastest laps as there's another yellow flag in Sector 2. I think that's a McLaren. Another... Yellow flag in sector three. I think that was involving the Alfa Romeo again because he seems to be going slow. It was either the Alfa Romeo or the Alfa Tori. I think the Alfa Romeo is getting ready for another lap time, seeing if he can beat his previous one. As the other Alfa Romeo, I think, goes second fastest. So it's a 1 2 for Alfa Romeo currently with Aston Martin second, Ferrari fifth, McLaren sixth. Alpine seventh, a Mercedes. No, Alpine sixth, a Mercedes seventh, and he gets denied as a Alpine takes a one forty one point two twelve as their lap time, snatching pull from everybody else. As this Alfa Romeo seems pretty consistent, but his lap time has been, uh, been, what's it called? His lap time's been invalid because of, I think, extended track limits. As let's go spectate the leader in the Alpine car. And here goes our leader. He seems to be going pretty fast here with a... He's in Sector 3. Flying around the track as we get another yellow flag. As... Oh! Someone's been denied. 60 Hertz has set a 142.998 currently. Dispatching the Al Alpine from pole with another caution in sector two. Oh, it's an Alpha Tori that set pole. I think it was that Alpha Tori that the Alpha Romeo was battling with a few laps ago. F just under five minutes left in qualifying.
the Alpha Alpha Tori seems to be running low on gas. I think he will be coming in the pits this lap. Coming in the pits this lap. Still a really solid qualifying session. It was very fun to watch. Very fun. But I want to see who will take pole and take the Grand Prix win today. Oh, caution in sector two involving, I think that's an Aston Martin heading down the hill, coming towards that turn that everyone hates. I'm not good with track names. But yeah, there was a caution there as I think the Alpha Tori's coming in this lap. That's our current fastest on the track. All right, let's spectate our second place. Another caution coming out in sector one. I'm not fully sure who was involved. I think it was a McLaren. I'm not fully sure. Everybody's either in the pits or on their out laps or setting lap times. I'm not fully sure. Is someone gonna take that uh, Alpha Tori off the top step of the podium? We'll see here. As I think a Red Bull just moved up into P3. I'm not fully sure though. I think someone moved around. It was either a. I think it was a. Mercedes and a Red Bull who just moved up into P4 and 3. Very solid runs from these drivers today though. Very, very entertaining qualifying session. As we're going to see the Alpine start its first or its lap. Um, that's an Aston Martin of. That's an Aston Martin in sector three causing yellow flag. Is the Alpines going up through Al Rouge currently? Al, Al Rouge. Very good. He's going to take the DRS down the straight. This seems like maybe a pretty good lap. I can't really tell, but you know. Oh, he's one-tenth down on the first sector, so that's a purple first sector for him. Maybe a purple first sector, I'm not fully sure, but it's a pretty good lap so far as he's flying through the sector two. Let's see what he can do in the sector two lap. Is he going to take pole here? I'm not fully sure. Kind of like to see a bit of a battle for pole position in this qualifying session those are always interesting as he's heading through the s turns here i don't know if they're called s turns but whatever and a yellow flag in sector three i think that's a mclaren as he sets a fastest middle sector the alpine sets a fastest middle sector that's pretty good as he's right up on this Aston Martin as the Aston Martin goes off into the grass to avoid ruining the Alpine's time causing a yellow flag but good on him for that as I think he might take pole position here we'll see as he's coming to the line that's a 142.800 for the Alpine of Lazar Craig how to pronounce that but that's a pretty solid lap from him no he only one tenth down on the original pole sitter as the alpines ran out of gas so this is probably going to be his in lap another yellow flag is dispatched in sector three another one in sector four i don't know what those are about but we'll see Two minute time remaining is two minutes in qualifying. So qualifying is officially over. So it's going to be late, 
Lazar on pole with Galius aside, Earth, Rambo, Seb, Captain, Anime, Wolf, Crap, Crofty, and then someone down in 10th place. Not sure how to pronounce that name, but good running from all these guys. This seems like a this could be a pretty good race with these guys. They're all setting pretty similar lap times, so I'm hoping they can, you know. set a pretty good race for them. Oh! As the... Gil sets a fastest lap on his last lap of the race. And it's taken back by the Alpine. So it's a first place battle for these two for that pole position. That's a... That's what we like to see, two cars battling as that's the end of qualifying here in Frick. here on this track today as the grid is currently Lazar with pole position, Gales alongside in P2, Mazos in third, Earth fourth, Rambarian sixth, Seb Rambarian 5th, Seb 6th, 7th is Captain, 7th is Anime, then we've got ninth is Wolf, and then 10th is Crofty. So that's pretty good from all of them. Interesting. Two people on medium tires, I would mean... Interesting, but they didn't go the fastest. Actually, the two slowest in the race currently. As we are currently heading into the Grand Prix here in Belgium for the Belgium Grand Prix. We are underway starting in under 30 seconds here in Belgium. This is going to be a really good race. I'm hoping there's not too many safety cars, cautions. I want to see who can come out on top today. It could be a back marker, one of the people in the back. It could be someone else. We don't know. Let's hope this race goes well. 10 seconds left until lights out. As the timer for some reason reset itself. Oh, and here we are. Five red lights. Lights out and away we go. The Alpine seems to get a really good start already ahead of everybody else. As we have that Alpha Tori in 
second place. This seems very similar to qualifying as... Oh, we're doing a formation line. My bad. <laughs> Formation lap gets underway. Up through our rouge we go for the formation lap. Or they seem to be warming up their tires. Can't wait to get this race underway. This is always one of my favorite tracks to watch. It is such a great track. I love the elevation changes in this track. I'm really hoping we can see someone take a really well-deserved win here. As we're looking at the predicted pit stop strategy, one stop for should be around six to eight. I'm not sure if they're on a two stop strategy or not. We'll see, but I'm pretty sure most of them should be on a one stop. As we are ending the formation lap as everyone gets back into their predicted spots with the Alpine on pole and the Alpha Tori on second. Okay, and it's lights out and away we go with the Alpine getting a good start along with the Alpha Tori there as we are coming into heading into turn one as the Alpha Tori takes that pole position. As here we go with the Alpha Tori taking first place with the Alpine in second. Not the best for the Alpine, but he did have a pretty good qualifying session. The Alpine runs wide to try and catch that guy ahead of him. As there's scraps going on between the people behind trying to take that third place. There's a fight for third place and first. As I think the Alpine might have almost gone for the move down the inside into that turn. But decided not to. As there's a little bit of distance between those two cars. They Distance. Oh and that's a yellow flag in sector two. Yellow flag in sector two. I don't know what happened there. I think it's an Alfa Romeo may have gone around. We're back to green flag running, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it was an Alfa Romeo that spun around as that Renault touches the curb, which is a very scary thing to do into that turn off that hill. As they're all swerving around, this looks really cool in my perspective, but the Alfa Tori's holding his lead pretty well against that Alpine, but the Alpine is catching as there's a yellow flag in sector 1-2. I think it was a Aston Martin had spun around. That sucks for him. I think he's out of the Grand Prix. Yeah, I think that Aston Martin is out of the Grand Prix. Yep. 
three second time penalty has been applied to a driver. I'm not 100% sure what as it goes the fastest lap for the Scuderia Alfa Tori on the power unit. Very dominant car in 2021 season. As we are back into lap two of this 22 lap Grand Prix. They are hugging that wall all the way up through El Roos. Is the Alpine going to run wide again? And the Alpine goes around up through El Roos. That sucks for him. I would feel absolutely terrible. Oh, and they make him and the McLaren almost make contact or did make contact. But that is a yellow flag. I'm surprised that almost could have been a safety car there. I feel terrible for the Alpine, but we're going to go ahead and spectate the currently leading, if I can find him, current leading Alpha Tori. We're currently going to be spectating him. He's been doing pretty good this whole time, hugging the wall there, coming down through this turn. He's doing pretty good, but the person in P3 has a time penalty. As that Alpha Tori seems pretty. Oh! The Aston Martin goes around again on that turn. That sucks for him. I feel absolutely terrible for him. As that Alpha Tori seems pretty uncontested in first place. Who knows what will happen in the long stages of the races, though, as he's heading Kane, and there is a yellow flag. I'm trying to figure out what happened. It is the Alpine, or is that the Alpine, correct? May have been the Alpine. I'm not 100% sure, as there's another fastest lap of 146. The Red Bull runs wide through that turn as the Alpha Tori starting his next lap. Another yellow flag in Sector 3. Not 100% sure what happened there. Well, here goes the Alpha Tori up through El Rouge. Really good running for this guy, but he's really uncontested up in the lead there. As I think that's the Aston Martin again who said, and the Aston Martin is out of the session. Or that's an Aston Martin, right? I don't know. I couldn't tell, but there's another track. There's a guy who has currently DNF that it would be, I think, our first or second DNF of this race. But yeah, that's pretty good as here goes that Alpha Tori and the pole sitter got a three second time penalty for multiple warnings, probably extended track limits. We don't know, but there's penalties being handed out currently. So, but yeah, that Alpha Tori is pretty uncontested up there as there's a big gap between all these cars. There's like one second, almost two second gaps between each car. Let's see. The Ferrari and Alfa Romeo kind of getting close there. And here comes the pole sitter with his... Oh, and another penalty has been given out to the person in last place for multiple warnings. Probably extended track limits. I'm not fully sure. As here goes the McLaren in P7. People are... For a second look like people are going in the pits. Interesting. As here goes that Alfa Romeo heading towards El Rouge currently. And let's see what happens through here. He is flying up through there that's a really good El Rouge from him that looked really nice from my perspective oh and the Red Bull of Earth takes fastest lap with a 146.256 pretty good from him we're currently in sector two with our current Alpha Tori leader he is really setting a gap on those drivers behind him with his really fast pace around this track. As we are heading down into this turn, as he's doing pretty good. Oh, and that's a virtual safety car, virtual safety car. I'm not 100% sure what happened, but I'm going to try and figure that out. As the Ferrari is missing a front wing, the Ferrari of Seb is missing a front wing, so I'm assuming he made contact with the wall or another car. 
I don't know for sure, but I'm going to check everyone else's cars maybe to see. I think his is the only car without damage. This is the only car with damage. Every other car, I didn't see damage on it. Yeah, I think he made contact with the wall, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, but that is a virtual safety car, virtual safety car. Here on lap 4 of this 22-lap Grand Prix. I think the Ferrari is just going to have to peel in the pits for a new front wing. That sucks for him, man. Feels really bad, but, you know, this stuff happens in racing, but he may be able to make a comeback drive. I don't know. Oh, another three-second time penalty has been handed out to someone for multiple warnings. I'm assuming extended track limits. DRS is now enabled, so I don't see a lot of these drivers getting DRS, especially the AlphaTauri on front. That, that may be good or bad for him. I couldn't honestly say, but he's put an absolutely stunning performance. That virtual safety car really messed with him, but I think he was able to conquer that. That off tour is making absolute. I honestly, I'm not 100% sure if this is his first one or not. I think he's doing pretty good. Five second, 5.5 5 second gap on the person in second place. That's pretty good for him. As he's pretty uncontested up there. Yep, that Ferrari is now down in P7. That sucks for him. Feels really bad. As the Red Bull runs wide, the Red Bull goes wide. As the Alpha Tori is three seconds up on the fastest lap. As he sets another lap, let's see what he can do here. As, yeah, that Alphatori is still setting a gap. I think that Mercedes is getting farther and farther back each lap. As we see him heading through Sector 2 currently, as the other cars are just getting through Sector 2 currently. Some of them haven't even started Sector 2 as he's flying around Sector 2. As he touches the curb on the outside of that turn, that is really crucial. That could have spun him off the track. Let's see what he gets for his sector two. Is he gonna be up on the time or down? He's up seven tenth of a second up on his time. Oh, and that's a yellow flag in sector two. I think that's the Last place, Red Bull, and that is a safety car. Let's see what happened to the Red Bull there. Safety car is out. Safety car is out. The Red Bull's out of the session, so I'm assuming he hit the wall at high speeds, and it completely mangled his car. That sucks for the fat. I'm pretty sure that Red Bull had the fastest lap as well. But yeah, that is going to be a safety car. Safety car. Which is going to bring down this Alpha Tori's lead.
as that Alpha Tori is the only one who's caught up to the safety car so far, but the cars are getting kind of close. Some of them are still far back, so the safety car will be out for a few laps, I assume. This was around the laps when everyone was estimated to pay. I think it's going to start raining. I think I see some rain falling. I don't know, though. I think the safety car might stay out an extra lap to let those other cars catch up, maybe. I'm not sure. It depends if they've already cleared up the debris and if those cars are all caught up, but the cars were pretty spread out when that safety car came out. This is this really sucks for the Alpha Tori, though, because he had that game fully and he lost all of it. I think it is starting to rain. It is starting to rain here in Belgium. That's That could completely switch to the stuff around for these drivers. That could bring the Alpha Tori down or it could make his race even better. I don't know, but it does seem to start rain. I'm not sure if these people are going to pay for inters or not. Or this, this seems still like dry tire conditions. There doesn't seem to be too much rain on the circuit currently. But yeah, there is, the safety car is going to stay out for one more lap. One more lap, I think the safety car will stay out. Yeah, that safety car will stay out for one more lap. Everybody's got caught up, so I'm pretty sure the safety car will be coming in in this next lap. I'm not sure though, that really, and a three second time penalty has been given out to Crofty for multiple warnings i don't know what happened but we'll see as we are heading towards el rouge with the safety car as we are heading up el rouge currently we're about to be now we're heading up el rouge as the safety car goes I'm not fully sure what everyone's strategy is about this rain situation. I think the rain is coming down, so it might wet the circuit soon. We don't know yet. We'll see, though, as we are heading down. As a, the elevation is currently changing as we are heading down, but I don't know how this rain is going to affect the Grand Prix. This could bring someone into play or take someone out of it. I don't know. As all the cars are now bunched up together, which is an interesting experience because a lot of them have been given time penalties for their extended track limits, contact, stuff like that. The only drivers without are P1, P4, P5, and P6. So the leader, Lazy, Crack, or whatever, Captain, Anime, and Seb don't have penalties. I'm not sure how long everybody's, like, how much of these penalties these guys have, but this could crucially affect their ch them. The safety car is coming in this lap, so safety car in this lap, as you can tell as it says that. But safety car is coming in this lap, so that's pretty good as everyone is going real slow as the safety car is heading towards the pits. Let's see how many. So we've already had one virtual safety car and the safety car in this Grand Prix. The rain could cause more safety cars. Alright, we should be going green soon. Almost three minutes it took them to get around the circuit. It is going to take them more than three minutes to get around the circuit on this lap. Never seen a lap that long with the safety car before, but 
That's pretty interesting as we are still yellows down the pit straight and green flag, green flag, green flag back running as that Mercedes sets after that Alpha Tori, getting real close to that first hairpin uh, on the first turn. But they are heading towards Al Rouge down this straightaway as the Alpha Tori hits Al Rouge. But I think he's setting another gap through here as the time is coming down between those two. That that Mercedes is getting ever so closer. I don't think neither of them have DRS, but if they did, I think the Mercedes would have gotten way closer by now. As he is one-tenth up on that lap time. As here we go, heading down the current into this turn as the Alpha Tari's been leading almost from start to finish. I don't think he was leading on those first few laps, but... He's been leading pretty much this whole Grand Prix since like lap four or something. I'm not sure when everyone's going to pit. I don't know. They could be pitting this lap. They could be pitting next lap. I'm not fully sure. But they're really sending these softs real hard here. They're really good at keeping control of those tires. Which is good for them. As yeah, we are... Back on our way with the Alpha Tori in the lead. He's starting to, I think, sense a gap on that car ahead of him. As he is 8 tenths up on his last time. As the as, as the Martin, Alpha Tori and the Mercedes have set a pretty good gap on those guys behind. But I don't know if that Mercedes is going to take second place because of his time penalties. And there's a yellow flag in Sector 3. I'm not 100% sure why. We will find out currently what happened. Everyone's peeling into the pits, I think. Or a few people are heading into the pits as these leaders are staying out. Only P1, P2, and P3 are staying out here to... Uh, Stay on those tires. They might be pitting this lap. I'm not sure. As they are wheel to wheel. As the Mercedes takes the lead of the race off the Alpha Tori. He's not going to be happy. But he's setting his way after that Alpha uh, After that Mercedes. As they are really close. That Alpha Tori is probably picking up a lot of dirty air around the circuit. Which isn't going to be happy for him. And it's affecting his tires. Which could ultimately ruin it for him. I'm not 100% sure, but congratulations on that Mercedes for taking P1. It took a little bit, but he finally got past on those hard tires. Twenty-three laps to go, I'm pretty sure, in this Grand Prix. Twenty-three laps to go, maybe twenty-two, or what am I saying? Thirteen laps to go on this race currently. That was a misjudgment, but, you know, that I think the time is coming down between those two. Yup, the Alpha Tori is gaining on that car, gaining every second. He is less than a second behind him currently as the time goes up as nine tenths down on him currently. But, you know, I think they're both still staying out. I think the Alfa Romeo did pit drs enabled again but this mercedes is gonna continue to struggle out there as the as the alpha tori pits for a pair of inters i'm pretty sure i think he might be pitting this lap i'm not fully sure but it was per well the mercedes is setting a pretty good gap on everyone so he could probably pit this lap and still come out ahead of all of them as he's got an 18 second 19 second gap on the people behind him pretty good showing but i'm hoping you know what will happen here as this mercedes is doing really well out here controlling his tires i don't even think it's not even really raining anymore it's kind of dry-ish so i think he's gonna stay out even more i don't see very much rainfall currently
as let's head down the field and see everybody else currently. As there's been a three second time penalty applied to anime for multiple warnings. As ooh, the Alpine who was in P1 at the start has made his way up to P3. Good for him. It's good to see that Ferrari's up in P5 now. He's gone up, I think, two places in this whole thing. As you know. Yeah, Mercedes is still staying out. Sector 2, there's a yellow flag. I think that's an Alfa Romeo. He did spin around, as you can see currently. Oh, there's a Sector 1, too. What happened? The Alfa Romeo again. I don't know if that's just because he was going slow. As the red, the Alpine takes the fastest lap of the race so far. As what kind of tires is the Alfa Torion currently? I think that's a set of mediums he's on. So who's on a set of inters currently? Oh, you can see the rain. There's sort of rain as the Alpine's on a set of softs. The Ferrari is a set of mediums as... The Alfa Romeo of Captain is on Inters. McLaren's on Mediums. The other Alfa Romeo's on a set of Mediums. And then the Mercedes is on a set of Aging Hards. He may have to pit soon, but those Hards are lasting him pretty long throughout this race. He still has a 16 second gap, but that gap is coming down. But it'll take a really long time to get down. Oh! Oh, the Mercedes gets squirrely. Oh! Yeah, that sucks for the Mercedes. He's lost a lot of time because of him getting squirrely. He's still not going into the pits, though. He's still determined to stay out on those hard compound tires. He's currently three seconds up on that previous, I think, fastest lap time. Let's, let's see here. There's a bit of rain on the car, as you can tell from the teapot offset view. There's a bit of rain on the car. 8th gear maxed all the way up El Rouge. That's really good from him. Um, this is a pretty entertaining race, but there's big gaps going on between everybody else. As there's a 14 second gap between the Alfa Romeo and the Mercedes currently. think the rain might be getting a little bit heavier I don't know for sure though but it might be we're on lap 13 of this 22 lap race I'm not sure how many laps are left but is the Mercedes gonna put this up? I don't think so. He's been staying out, but as you can tell on the camera views, the rain is coming down. But I don't think it's enough to pit for a set of inters. It seems pretty good. He seems pretty fine out there as you can see sparks coming from under his car. As he goes, touches the curb there. As he's still staying out. But I think he got a little bit squirrely out of the chicane there. Two seconds up on that last time. That's a downgrade, though. That's an upgrade because last time he was three seconds up. Now he's two, so he's definitely gone faster this lap.
my bad about the dramatic pause, but we are back at, conver at commentary here in Belgium. There's 14, we're 14 laps into this 22 lap Grand Prix. The gap is coming down between the Alpha Tori and the Mercedes. It was the every second, but it does seem to be going up. It went from 12.3 to 12.4. The rain might be getting a little bit heavier. I'm not sure, though. But, oh, the Mercedes I forgot he had time penalties that could affect his time. The end of the race as he slides and gets loose with the back end out of the final turn. That could have been a possible spin for him. That's another two seconds down as there's a yellow flag in sector two. I think it was the McLaren of it was the McLaren of Crofty currently causing a yellow flag. Nothing too big, but you know. Mercedes has been pushing real hard here. But that's time. I think he's keeping a decent gap between him and that other car, though. That's pretty good, though. Damn. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good from him. I'm really proud of this guy. He's been absolutely dominant this entire race, keeping that gap alive. And he's, you know, been flying around the track with that. Alfatori is still trying his best to catch up to him because Alfatori might have a chance for a win if we get a safety car, which I don't know if we will. But yeah, that could, if we do get a safety car, that could ruin the Mercedes chances of, <gasps> as the Mercedes hits the wall hard. The Mercedes slide it out and hit the wall hard there. That is going to suck for him. Oh, I did not see that coming as the Alpha Tori is going to take first place here, I think, because he's got a pit with front wing damage. But, oh, I feel terrible for him. That absolutely sucks, man. I hope he's okay, though. He's, he's still going, so I'm pretty sure he's fine. But he's peeling into the pits currently because he's got to get a new front wing. And the Alpha Tari is going to take the lead of this race. Feel, I feel horrible for that guy. Let's hope he doesn't lose too many places, though. He's serving his time penalties as there's a the yellow flag with the McLaren. Sector 3, and that's a virtual safety car. Yeah, here's our second virtual safety car of the race. I'm not 100% sure what happened with the McLaren, but Mercedes is up in P2 currently. He didn't take a massive downgrade, but he still has his time penalties, so that's going to really affect. Because Seb's moved up from P6-7 to P3 currently, so he's made his way onto the podium places. Uh, I think we're green flag running. We're back to green flag. DRS is now enabled again. I think. I don't know if that's a disabled or an enabled, but, you know, that's pretty good for them all. But as this rain is getting more and more, as there's a 20 second gap between the Alpha Tori and the Mercedes behind, as I think the Mercedes and the Ferrari are having a little bit of a tussle back there. I'm not fully sure we could check back on that. No, I think the Mercedes has got a bit of a gap on that Ferrari. Coming out of the pits. I can't believe that Alfa Tori came back to take the lead. I feel really horrible for the Mercedes, though. His chances of winning completely thrown away. He could come back, though, if there is a safety car, which I doubt. Well, it just really depends. He was getting really squirrely, though, so I, I kind of did see it coming. Because he was getting a little bit squirrely, but that time is coming down. So the Mercedes is gaining as the Alfa Tori gets a little bit loose there out of turn one. 
because we're heading up through El Rouge. Currently, we're just heading into El Rouge now. Down the straightaway where everyone knows that massive moment of here comes Sebastian Vettel. That, everyone knows that. That was pretty funny. Oh, as the Alpine is coming into the pits. Let's see what kind of set of tires is he putting on his car. As he's peeling into the pits. Let's see what kind of tires he puts on that car. It's medium tires for the end of the Grand Prix. Neat pit stop by Alpine as that other Alfa Romeo comes into the pits as well. Let's see what kind of tires he's putting on the car. Yep, anime is coming into the pits. What kind of tires is he putting on the car? He's now down in P6, but I think it's softs for the end of the Grand Prix for the Alfa Romeo. Oh, he had to get a front wing change as well. That sucks for him. He's going to lose a lot of time because of that, but without that front wing change, that would have been a neat stop by Alfa Romeo. That takes him down in the last place as Crofty Link gets another time penalty. Oh. Down from now, crossing the white line at the pit a little bit there as we're moving up to the leader's view again. He's currently two tenths up on the fastest, two seconds up on the fastest lap of last time. As we are 17 laps of this 22 lap Grand Prix, has down from Romeo. Alpha Tori takes that chicane pretty well. I don't know if that was absolutely perfect, but it was good. He's doing really good out there, but I think the rain kind of went away there. It was really light rain for that race. He, I think he got a little bit loose there, but it is currently Alpha Tori, Mercedes. Seb's in the pits. Seb is in the pits. What kind of tires are going on to his car? As Captain gets a pit, I think it might be a set of sauce. I'm not fully sure. Maybe I think it's a set of sauce for the end of the Grand Prix. Yep, it's a. I think that's a set of sauce. I can't really tell from here, but I'm pretty sure that's a set of sauce for the end of the Grand Prix. They are a set of sauce for the end of the race for the Ferrari of Seb. As. The Mercedes isn't too far back. He's kind of brought down the gap a little bit there, but... Oh, the rain, I think it's getting heavier there. The rain might be getting a little heavier. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. Alright, so it's one pit stop for the leader, two stops for the second place, four stops for Seb, three stops for Crofty, and that's a sector one caution. I think that was involving just the anime as he's out of the Grand Prix. That's another driver out of the Grand Prix for just the anime. That really sucks knowing he just pitted. What did happen though? Let's get a look at that. Don't think it's gonna let me view his car, but we will watch the Alpha Tori go past and try and see what happened there. See if I can get a view on what happened to this view. I'm pretty sure he probably hit the wall. Yeah, he did hit the wall. That sucks for him. Seb's on a four stopper though. Interesting. Uh, oh, it's. Still with that fastest lap with the Alpine with that fastest lap there. It is a 12 second gap between him and that Mercedes. So the time I think is coming down as, oh, interesting. So the Alpha Tori's on a seven lap old pair of mediums and the Mercedes is on a two lap old of softs. Interesting. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so six second penalty for the Mercedes. Six second penalty for Crofty. Three second penalty for the Alpine and a six 
three second penalty for captain in the Alpha Romeo. That's unfortunate for them. Oh, that sucks. He's ground. As that sucks, because everyone's downgraded in places, but everyone's gone up. But, you know, we currently have three laps left in the Grand Prix. Three laps left. That gap is now 10 seconds between um, between the Alpha Tori and the Mercedes. It's currently a three second gap. Three, three, ten second gap between the two. Really good though. Really good stuff from these two. It was an entertaining race up until the Mercedes crashed, had the pit, and all that happened. As there will almost be two laps left in the Grand Prix as soon as we finish this lap. Can't believe that Alpha Tori only pit once. As I thought the rain was going to cause a more crucial thing, but it is only just light rain. It is kind of covering some of the cameras as we head around that track. sucks that four of the ten drivers in this race did get DNFs. The Alpha Tori is getting really close to lapping that Alpha Romeo. I just noticed that. Oh, that's a three-second penalty for the Alpine. Let's see how many. He's got six seconds to his name now. Oh, that sucks for him. Has two laps left currently as we're heading through El Rouge for the second to last time of the I don't know what happened there, but all right. I don't know what happened there, but we're gonna be moving on with two laps left in this race. As seven seconds between the Mercedes and the Alpha Tori. I don't think he has enough laps to catch him though. But it was a really good effort from that Mercedes to try and catch him. As that's sector two of the Alfa Romeo, I don't know what happened fully there, but I think he may have spun or went off or just gotten loose or hit the wall. Anything could have happened there, but we don't know as I think he's about to get lapped by the Alfa Tori coming up behind him currently. As Obi comes back on the track in a very dangerous matter, almost making contact with the Alfa Tori. As the six second gap now between... If that Mercedes can push as hard as possible, he might be able to catch him on the last lap. I'm not sure, though. As he gets past the Alfa Romeo through there, let's spectate the Mercedes currently. He is pushing real hard there. As he only has a four or five lap old of sauce as he crosses into the last lap versus a 10 lap old set of medium tires the gap is now uh, he still has a nine second time penalty so even if he does catch him he won't beat him which really sucks for him but this is a six second gap this is the last time we'll be heading up through our rouge with that mercedes let's see what goes on here as I think the Alpha Tori, if he doesn't spin out, he will take the win here. I don't know though, because I don't think that Alpha, uh, that Mercedes has the time to catch up to him, which really sucks for him. As that's a yellow flag, I think that's a Alpha Romeo. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was an Alpha Romeo of Captain, who was on a 13 lap old pair of Inters.
So we are heading through this corner for the last time of the race as we head through the S kind of turns. Last time of the race as we're heading through all these turns. It was a very, very good effort from that Mercedes. Five second gap currently. He's caught really well. We're just passing while that Mercedes hit the wall. He may have still been in the lead at this current moment in time. As the yellow flag comes out, as the Mer something happened with the Mercedes. The Mercedes is slow. The Mercedes is slow. I think he hit the wall again there. I think he was pushing too hard to catch the Alpha Tori. As the Alpha Tori is going to take the win here in Belgium and maybe take the championship lead, but great win from that Alpha Tori. That was an absolute insane performance from them. I'm really proud of him. That was a really good race. He stepped up and achieved it, and he deserves that top step of the podium. Congratulations to the Alpha Tori, though. That was an absolutely insane race. Absolutely loved it. It was an insane performance, and I, I don't know what to say. That was that was just a really good performance. Forty-two minutes of this race, but congratulations to everyone in this race. It was a really fun race to watch. I loved commentating it. I had a lot of fun here. But I want to see what'll happen in the next race if I'll be commentating or not. I probably will, but, you know, we'll see as the times come. As Captain heads into the pits, what kind of tires is he putting on his car? Oh, he's got a puncture! That Alfa Romeo with a puncture. He is very slow in the pit lane as... Crofty takes the fastest lap of the race. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to that Alfa Tori driver. That was an absolutely insane performance. I'm really proud of him for that. Congratulations to the Mercedes and the Ferrari. Still feel really bad for that Mercedes, but he still did take that P2 finish. I'll have to check maybe the championship standings later. I don't know, though, but... It was an absolutely great performance from every driver in this race. I had so much fun commentating. Absolutely loved every second of this race. That's a really good race. There was a lot of DNFs, though. But, you know. You know. It was pretty good as that Alpine driver is going to take fastest lap here. But yeah, that was an absolutely insane performance from the Alpha Tori driver. It was very fun to commentate. 